Hey girlfriends, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, we are going to let bygones be bygones and give second chances. Because I've decided to give the one and only Denman Brush another chance. Today's video is sponsored by Sally Beauty. I am part of the Sally crew. So I did go and pick this up at Sally Beauty today because I didn't even keep my Denman brush. That's how much we weren't getting along. I don't even know where it is or what happened to it. If you've been following my channel for some time now, you know how I feel about this brush. We got beef. We don't really get along. I mean, I feel like with this brush, people either love it or hate it. And I can say that when it comes to detangling, we are not friends. I still stand by that and I still do not think that the Denman brush is a brush for detangling. Technically looking at this box, it says best for control and defining wet curls, style, shape, define. It actually does not say detangle anywhere on this brush, but for the regular user, you think it's a brush. I'm gonna use it to brush my hair but not this brush. This one is different. Now that we've all learned that this is not the greatest detangling brush, I will say that it's probably the greatest brush for definition and to define your curls even more than your natural curl pattern. So I'm gonna try it again to define my curls. Remember, if you define your curls, you will get shrinkage because the more defined they are, the more it's gonna shrink up. So keep that in mind. This is also not the brush for elongation. I also wanna try a new curling technique with this brush. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. But I'm also gonna be using some products by Matrix. These are also not new to my channel. I've used these ones before. They're already Bianca Renee approved. But I wanted to use them again today because they are now sold at Sally Beauty. So let's get started. First things first, I washed my hair with the Matrix Total Results A Curl Can Dream. This is their co-wash. My hair wasn't exactly dirty, dirty, so I didn't really have to do like a deep clean, just like a little refresh to get the product out of my hair. So I used their co-wash, which is basically a shampoo and conditioner combo. It cleanses and gives you moisture at the same time. So now that I am fresh out the shower, I'm going to add my stylers. This is the Matrix Total Results A Curl Can Dream. Manuka Honey Moisturizing Cream. I'm gonna add the cream first, kind of like as a leave-in, just to give some extra moisture before we add our gel, because you know there's a gel in my styling routine. Grabbing a little bit. Let's check out the smell again. Hmm, it kind of smells like honey. Really want to get it on my ends or get a little dry. Raking it up, smoothing it down. Same thing on the other side. Now with this cream, you probably should use less if you have fine hair, use more if you have thick hair, and apply it on wet or damp hair. I think I wanna get rid of my middle part, so I'm gonna add a little bit to the top of my head. Flip it over. All right, step one complete. This is a big jug of product. I do like that this cream is 16.9 fluid ounces, so you get a lot of cream with this product. Now I'm gonna go in with my gel for some extra hold. This is the Acryl Can Dream Manuka Honey Extract Light Hold Gel for curls. So you will get some bigger volume with this because it is a lighter hold. Let's add a couple pumps. There's the consistency. Pretty goopy, a little bit of stick to it. Smooth. Oh, I forgot how like, slippery this is it has really good slip it's giving me the same consistency as like a homemade flaxseed gel if you guys ever made one that's what it feels like wow i'm like sliding through my hair i'm always surprised when gels have slip because that's not their job like they don't have to have slip just conditioner that's just extra nice of them now i feel like i'm still doing like my normal routine when i should be switching gears into like a denman style <laughs> Denman style, mm? Mm. <laughs> where it's gonna be more sectioning. And you guys know I don't usually section, but I wanna see what the hype is, okay? I wanna join you in your love for this brush. It's looking very shiny already. Okay, now for the fun part, let's grab our Denman brush. So I'm gonna grab a little piece just to 
just to practice with, right? Now you might think just to grab your brush and then comb it down and then maybe scrunch it back up for definition. You could do that. But then people like to get really snazzy with it and you go under and then they just curl it over. Boop. And then it really makes, look at this one right here. Look at this juicy one. Ooh, that actually is very pretty. <laughs> but then there is the Elite Denman Brush Max Pros experts that do this. Okay, let's try it. So apparently you grab, it's probably still too big. See, I'm just not a section person. Let's do this much. Okay, so you get your hair, you put it at the end of the brush, you twist it around, and you start using the handle of the brush and you keep pulling it down okay I did it too tight I started off too hard I went too hot I went in too hot and then you go like this around the handle and then you go one two three and then when you undo it nope let's try it again here and you go around and you maybe you keep it loose and then you roll it and then you undo it whoa I did it <laughs> wow that that is a beautiful chunky curl right there so I guess you could do your whole head like this. It'll be very Shirley Temple vibes. But if you want definition, if you want a perfect ringlet, that's a perfect ringlet right there, right there. I would do this like, you know, for a little girl's hair going to school. Like I feel like kids can pull off the super, super tight ringlets. I'm a volume girl, but I did want to try this and look how it's already like forming it's like a slinky. What would happen if I did my whole head? Let's find out. Okay, let's take a smaller section. Oh, I said the word section, guys. I'm doing sections and I'm using the Denman brush. Where is the real Bianca Renee today? See how it, this is how you know I don't do sections. That's, that's, not, that's not good. Even smaller, ugh. <laughs> the only person that doesn't like sections. Base. Halfway through, then I'm gonna start twisting. Nope, did it wrong. Here we go again. You know what? I actually have seen this done on shorter hair. I don't see this a lot on long hair. Maybe because we ain't got time. Darn it! I give up. Wow. When I do it right though, it's pretty fun. And release. Cute. Not as cute as your sister, but cute cousins. Because my hair is long, I kind of got to go like pretty low and then just wind it up and then release it. Yeah, that's the problem. My hair is too long. I mean, at this point, like, is it really the brush or is it the handle? Okay, it's pretty. Ah, now I did it. I don't know what I just did, but I did it. <laughs> I would say this is a trial and error thing, and the more you do it, the better you get. Look at me, I'm like four in, and I'm basically a pro now. Okay, so this is the last one. Curling it round and round, round and round. A little bit lower, a little bit lower. One, two, three, and jibble. Oh! <laughs> now all the curls are extra defined, extra ringlety. How is this gonna dry? Wow, that looks really pretty. I think I'm going to diffuse and then probably have to use an oil to unravel these to get more volume. I'm gonna use the Ion Lux Supercharged Hair Dryer and Diffuser. You might have seen me use this in a couple of my videos. Let me know if you want me to do a full review because this thing is pretty nice. Okay, 
let's take a look-see. Wow. Like a bunch of little curly dreads, basically. <laughs> so I want more volume. I'm gonna break these up. So I'm gonna use the Matrix of Curl Can Dream lightweight oil. I'm just gonna put some on my hands. So as I unravel these, I won't be creating any more frizz. Let's take this one and just lightly break you apart. That already looks much better. Alrighty. Now that I have loosened up the curls, I have a little bit more of a shape and volume. But wow, the definition is insane. I feel like I'd make Franchelli very proud, maybe Chloe very proud. Those are my, my definition Denman brush girls, but like, look at that. If you want individual ringlets, the Denman brush can be your friend. We also gotta talk about these Matrix products though because my hair is so shiny. Wow. Let me put one dash of, maybe two dashes of oil. And just kind of scrunch it in. Whew. So there you have it. If you are team definition over team volume, you're not really into the super big hair, you aren't really tight ringlets, definition, and shine, here's a routine for you. I hope you learned a new way to use your Denman brush, not for detangling, but for added definition. If you want bigger curls, use bigger sections. If you want smaller curls, use smaller sections. You can now get all of these Matrix products at Sally Beauty. These are the ones that I recommend that are sulfate paraben and silicone free. I'll make sure to link all these products in the description box below. Sally Beauty always has sales going on, so make sure you click my link and see what the sale is this time. If you want more curly hair content, make sure to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.